so nice we had to do it twice here we go again a hey, two weeks in a row um all right let's get straight to business so hammer strength high road this is back in the rotation probably my favorite back machine ever made um the one at iron prodigy is extra heavy and i realize this uh, well i was reminded of this so i was doing this movement at the gym in sacramento my old stomping grounds and uh i was like hitting up four plates and i think a dime uh, but here three plates and a quarter was barely appropriate um yeah i feel like i can stick myself to the pad a little bit more and um now what i am trying to do here is maybe you could in, i think in the other um ang from the other angle you could see it a bit more but i kind of like roll in my pelvis just a little bit um to kind of keep my lats a little bit more stretched out because you can totally tilt your hips the other way now uh, you'll be able to see it here um you could anteriorly tilt your hips to the point where you shorten your lat quite a bit so i feel a tremendous stretch when i do this and i try to keep my hips in that position um so that's intentional uh but yeah i mean a row is always going to be a little bit harder as it gets closer to you so like the strength curve is the reverse of a bench press right or it's, it's the same thing kind of but it's it's the last part of the concentric is where the bench press is the first part of the concentric so um so yeah that part's tricky and i'm gonna clean it up this next week if it doesn't clean up we're just going to lower the weight um this thing's back in the rotation as well um whoa yeah no i was reminded uh the days after and like just how much this really gets so many muscle groups your lats your triceps your pecs um you have one of these it's worth it and look you get to wear a seat belt so right but it, it's it's a very unique movement and um i think people try it once and it feels weird and then they leave it alone but it's worth trying to figure out i think it's it's that novel of an exercise and if you have the machine yeah if not um shoot a cable um pullover is, is is pretty good too but that machine whoa just it slides out if it works for you uh if you like it you really like it um this is one of my favorite curl variations it's um so it's my bicep a flex position basically so like because of my shoulder position it's, it's as contracted as it gets um so i love the way it feels and uh uh, yeah, I can do it on a preacher, but I really like the feeling when I actually drive my shoulder upwards. So, just my thing. Uh, again, um, it's a per personal preference. There's nothing special or unique about that one, to be honest. It's just movement that's always worked well for me, and my joints seem to like, and I really feel it. Um, joints seem to like. So, uh, yeah, kind of dealing with issues with my left elbow. I was trying to sneak in a few movements. Sometimes you never learn um, that just historically have always led to elbow issues. Um, dumbbell skull crushers, to be exact. And uh, so, yeah. So, I was feeling a little wonky on this day. You can't see it too much from here, but I'm going to totally have you guys call me out on this one. You can kind of see that, yeah, I'm just not fully extending, and that's because of that elbow. Um, but then also, sometimes with lighter weights, what ends up happening is the last part um it can take you out of your 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 tuck so sometimes you have so much speed on the concentric early in the set that um it, it can open up your scapula and now you're protracted and that's not a good place to be so sometimes that is why you will see experienced um lifters not lock it out all the way and then will also again um there just isn't really is it's not the juicy part of the movement that last bit but you want to standardize your reps too so anyhow dumbbell press is going well we're still in that to that's the toner rep range day um and actually i have to have two of those this week because of that elbow but i think this next week it's going to be just fine uh squats this was probably the highlight of the week just because 405 for sets of seven um my head i'm like you have no business lifting that bird but it worked out and um 
yeah, and honestly, I feel like this next week, we're going to be able to push a little bit harder. So, um, we have sets of five, and yeah, I think it, we, we might go with anywhere between 425 to 435 with plenty of room to spare. So, yeah, I look miserable, and I kind of am, but also enjoying myself quite a bit and just being very cautious because uh yeah I, I my back is great um uh i want to keep it that way so i'm definitely like making sure that you know like i'm seeing this is not as like many sets many singles as opposed to just like hey set of seven no i want to um yeah just I enjoy this look too much and you know again do I have to squat as a bodybuilder no but um, man I love having skills with the barbell so I like to be decent at it you know so it's not my game but I want to be respectable um, the calves will skip that one um, but this leg press right here whoa it's one of the few uh, sled leg presses that I really really love it's hammer strength huge um, huge um, platform so if you've used it it's, it's, it's hard to miss it's, it's humongous you have so many choices in regards to where you put your feet um, range of motion was getting better with every rep and I think as I continue to use this every week um, yeah I'll kind of I'll find my I'll find the best place for me to put my feet I'll, I'll find I'll get accustomed to the movement and the range of motion to look more like the last few reps as opposed to the first few ones uh, I really do try to make sure that I brace hard the whole time like I have air in my stomach the way I would on a squat and I don't let go of that until I'm out of I guess you could say the danger zone so my butt is tucking but it's tucking into neutral um, you can't see it but it is and at this point like I have a good idea of what that feels like so it looks worse than it is from that angle yes my pelvis is kind of shifting but again we're neutral and that's still uh, for most okay but again brace hard hold my air and um, and don't let it out until you know we're we're, we're in the clear um, this was my last set of deadlifts I had I thought it was 10 but it was a set of 9 8 and then 7 I smashed my thumb and it was just fat and hideous early in the week and so I had to grip it closer and it I couldn't grip it outside because it would touch my leg and it would it was distracting um, so so yeah we were thumbs were over different lifting straps hey shout outs to to my homegirl Morgan she let me borrow those awesome pink lifting straps for the day and uh, yeah they served their purpose I'm still happy with this 475 for a set of eight nine eight and seven um, if it wasn't for the thumb, I'd be able to go with my usual grip. It's a little bit wider than that, about two fingers wider, so my back would be tighter. Um, and I, I feel like I could have pulled a few sets of seven, like in the, you know, low 500 range. So, not bad considering that we're in the mean potatoes of this block. One of the problems with the, de with the deadlift, I love the deadlift, and it's here for funds, mostly. We'll get back to good mornings at some point. But, um... Is that yeah? It's a lot of fatigue for the amount of muscular stimulus you get. So when you're deep into a training block like this one suffers. So the fact that it's this strong, pretty messed up right now. I'm optimistic that hey, we we might end up pulling super close to 600 for reps at the end of this block. Um, hey, special guest, so my homegirl Katie, Katie Ann, WNBF pro, basically a pro in every major natural org. And actually, in 2017, the world champ in basically every, like, natty federation that is worth, um, I'm not going to say it's, that it's in the most prestigious championships, because as you guys know, we're kind of all over the place, but, um, so yeah, I'm not going to say worth a damn, but yeah, like, she won WNBF Worlds, like, I just want to win my weight class at some point, um, and she cleaned up, she cleaned up that one, cleaned up the Jordan. So anyhow, she she was here in Fort Collins. And, uh, hey, we got a lift on. Some pretty casual lifting. Um, 
this is my last workout of the week so it's easy, the easiest one and uh and for her obviously you know when you're on the road you kind of want to chill out so we played with a lot of the machines at, at prodigy had a um, good time catching up and um and yeah no katie's one of those athletes who um yeah it just kind of goes to show you what you can do without the use of drugs like bad 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 uh, lighting at prodigy which is one thing i was, I was i'm like katie trust me the lighting here is kind of eh because Hey, I look better than that, but you can't see it. But anyhow, like homegirl sporting bicep veins that are like more prominent than my own. And she's doing it weighing like in the mid 160s. So that's a whole lot of, whole lot of lean body mass and she gets lean. So anyhow, um, yeah, just getting to touch bases with someone who loves this stuff as much as I do. Um, it's always good. And again, we're finding our motivation again right and this definitely helps so hey introduce her to the pullover machine um i think i sold her on it we'll see um but uh, but yeah that was my week a little bit of everything got to train with katie actually my client harlan also came down and got to train got to train with him as well um just a bomb ass time uh really really good week in regards to um, the social aspect of lifting and we were productive and I, I don't know what was happening I think it was all the back work that I did before I look like I'm dying here way more than earlier in the week but anyhow hey we're having a good time it's been a productive block and then this next week I get to see Eric Helms as we get to present in Hong Kong and Singapore so stay tuned for that that should be a whole lot of fun um, I'm having a ball I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, yeah Stay tuned for some fun stuff come come this next week. A little different, but it'll be fun.